What's up guys? So I am testing out um, my GoPro, the audio, and this new, well, not really a new setup because I hope to have a helmet set up, but if you can see me, I'm wearing a chest strap because I want to start vlogging on my motorcycle. So I have my chest strap set up with my GoPro attached, and then I have a mic adapter. I'm gonna have to hide this wire somewhere but I'm running the wire up through my helmet. And see, ideally I would want a mount that's on my helmet, either under the chin or on the side, um, but I don't have those mounts right now. I've been had the chesty, I never really use it. So even though it looks pretty uh, glaring, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. I'm wearing all black and see what kind of footage we can get. Um, having the, the GoPro mounted right here. And then how is that audio gonna be? I think this is the, this is a Rode Lavalier mic. I can't remember the actual model name, but I wanna see how is the sound gonna hold up? Is there gonna be a significant amount of wind? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and go out on what I would deem my first vlogging ride. All right, this is the GoPro Hero 6, and I'm gonna put this on the front of my motorcycle to catch a different view. Ooh. It sounds so good. I just got it out the shop yesterday. Had a 12,000 mile uh, service checkup, and also needed to figure out what was going on with that uh, brake issue I had that one night. Um, but now sounds really smooth and clean and I'm ready to get out here. which is inherently something that's dangerous. I mean, look at me, I'm riding on a crotch rocket, a big old motor in between my legs and I'm just flying. Whenever I watch like motorcycle movies or shows or whatever, I would never imagine myself being the girl that was like riding on the back of her boyfriend's motorcycle. I was always the girl who had her own motorcycle. Um, but that never really translated into me actively trying to learn how to ride and get a bike and all that stuff. Not until my mentor who had a motorcycle, which is currently this one, um, told me that he was thinking about selling it. And kind of like in jest, I was just like, oh no, don't sell it, sell it to me. And he was just like, well, take a class, um, try it out, and then if you like it, I'll sell it to you. So I took a class, I learned on a 250, it was like a Honda, uh, I don't know the model, but it was, it was much smaller than this, this is a 900. Um, so that was like a weekend course, like three days. Completed it, got licensed, and then told him to send me down the bike. And once it got to me, and you know, it used to be red. Once it got to me, the first time I tried to like get on that joint, I dropped it. This was the only, I've only dropped my bike two times, and it was both times were when I first got the bike. So I have not dropped the bike at all since. Um, but yeah, I dropped it. It was just big. Look at this tank. It's a five gallon tank, which is why the, the tank is so big, um, which gives me longer distances. But it's heavy. It's 400, 500 pounds. And um, yeah, I was just starting to ride. So I was nervous on top of that. That confidence wasn't there yet. So I would like ride it in spurts, right? Literally. I would go down, I would ride it down the street. I was staying at my mom's house when I first got it. And I would um, I would ride it down the street, no more than like a quarter mile probably, and be like, woof, all right. 
I did something there, you know? And I remember I used to be like really tense, you know, like shoulders all locked. Um, and you know, I did that, ride it a little bit, whether it's five minutes, then the, the rides got longer, 10 minutes, then 15 minutes, then I felt comfortable riding around the neighborhood. Um, and then it was time for me to move and I was gonna have to ride my bike to my new spot, which is downtown, so I was gonna have to get on the highway. So I rode it on the highway for the first time, and I remember my leg, my left leg was just uncontrollably shaking. <laughs> uncontrollably. Because if you think about it, I remember I was on the highway, and like, I was passing by cars, cars were passing by me, um, fast as shit, and then you just think like, if one thing, you know, goes wrong, it could just be over like that so um that kind of you know gives it the thrill but also it's like holy shit this is dangerous so my leg my left i remember my left leg was shaking i was like going you know 70 80 miles per hour left leg completely vibrating <laughs> uh but you know i did it more and i did it more and i did it more and i got better i got more confident and now, and, and now I'm at the point where I can ride, I feel like in almost any condition and, you know, be extremely confident about my abilities. So being a woman, that rides and that rides by herself. Um, especially I got all this tech on my person and on my bike. You know, like I said before, I have my phone mounted right here. Um, I like to be cautious of like, the fact that this is an open air vehicle. So I'm more susceptible to to like bodily harm <laughs> especially because if like I want to go on long rides by myself never know the kind of area I might end up in I want to make sure I'm safe so I do I do got something in my bag so now right now I have the face shield off I wonder if there's a significant difference in the audio yo <laughs> People fuck up my vibe. Like this car definitely did that. I gotta figure out how, I'm, okay, he's turning, but I gotta get in between these other cars so I can get up past Oakland. It's a lot of people out on their motorcycles today. Any day you have a nice day. And like, I don't need to find, unless it's like pouring rain. probably ride like oh my god yo people are killing me and then this next light has the nerve to be red and then there's somebody else in front of me uh riding in the city it's not that fun when you have to stop and start so much
show you guys. So that footage with the camera on the chesty is too low because it's really just getting a lot of the tank. So I have kind of rigged, um, using the head mount, I rigged it around the mouth of my helmet um, so that I can get that higher point of view. And this is just a temporary thing till I get a an actual mount, but I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go out on another ride real quick. Oh, also I found an indie filter that almost fit the size of this little, whatever this is called, but the threads don't match up. It's actually a little bit smaller than this, but I was able to get it inside the casing. And so I like taped it around. <laughs> So hopefully that stays on and I don't lose the um, protective filter or the ND filter. But since it's around sunset, I wanna block out any of that glare. But I hope it doesn't make it too dark. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna start recording. Um, this is the second ride with the mount on my handlebar mount and what actually what's cool about this is I can see I can see uh, what the screen is seeing which is pretty cool I'm sure at some point it'll the back of my screen will go black but gives me an idea of what I'm capturing and Already I noticed that it's a, it's much higher than the other position. And now you're following my head movements. So I'm gonna pick up some gas real quick and then be on the way. It's always something that stops you. Also, I think that this, uh, this uh, filter is looking pretty nice on it. So. Rigged it so that it would see nobody else like me riding around and that's not to you know sound cocky or anything but I really don't and apparently other people out here don't either because all the stuff all the comments I get most unwelcome like when I first got the bike it was cute and it was flattering to get all the comments about, you know, being a girl that rides, being a girl that rides like what you consider maybe a big bike. Like it was like, yeah, <laughs> I do ride. But like now, almost four years in, it's just annoying. Like, leave me alone. Can I just ride? Like, sometimes it's like dangerous. You're screaming at me outside your window or like, slowing down the coast next to me that shit is creepy so that's why I always got to stay on guard for safety reasons in terms of accidents and for just people doing crazy shit because they act like they've never seen a girl on a bike before which like I said I haven't seen too many around my parts I can't hear you. 
appreciate it. Huh? I can't hear you, love. But I'm, I'm in, I'm not, I'm, I'm just trying to change this battery out and get back on the road, though. Huh? No, I'm headed back somewhere. No, thank you guys. Have a good night though. So, homie definitely just stopped to uh, like stopped, turned around. See, this is, this is why ladies, this is why I carry because the situation's like that. I stopped real quick so that I could change the battery and car stops, or car on the other side going by, slows down, then stops, turns around, trying to talk to me. And I couldn't hear him because I have my earphones in and like, it's just so much in this helmet right now. I could barely hear him talking to me from his, uh. his car and then he's you know asking for my number and no leave me alone <laughs> not in a I don't want to be talked to way but that's creepy don't just roll up on me like that bro